Hi, welcome to the quick start for Sector Audio. Sector Audio is a brand new audio framework for Unity, all about creating immersive, high-end, spatial 3D audio. Today though, we're just gonna talk about the basics, how you create and playback sounds. When you're working with Sector Audio, the first thing you wanna do in any new scene is add an audio system component. The audio system is kind of the heart of Sector Audio and handles all the core playback work. The easiest way to do that is to go to Game Object, Create Other, Sector, Audio, Audio System. The audio system needs to go on the listener component and or go on the same object as your listener. And so Sector finds that automatically and adds it for you. And there's our audio system. So now we're just about ready to play back audio in general. Next up, we want to actually create some assets. And to do that, we're going to go to the Sector Audio window, which you find under Window, Sector, Audio. Now, the Sector Audio window is basically your one-stop shop for audio asset creation across your entire project. At the bottom, you can see a list of all of the audio assets, all the audio clips, excuse me, in your project. It's very cool. They're all sorted. You can uh, even audition them to hear what they sound like, or maybe something a little nicer, some, uh, some birds chirping. You can see basic information about them, even their advanced properties like compression, bit rate, and hardware settings. And you can sort them all by keyword here. In the upper right is the buses and properties panel, which we'll come back to. And in the upper left is the hierarchy panel, which shows all of our buses that are used for mixing and all of our cues that are used for sound playback. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new master bus. A master bus is like the top level volume knob in our mixing chain. To do that, we're gonna right click. We're gonna say create new bus. Uh, Unity will prompt us where we want to save it. I'm going to save it in the default setting. I'm going to call that the master bus, since this is the top level master slider for all of our mixing. Now, mixing in sector audio is hierarchical, which means that a parent affects its kids. You can actually have nested buses for really, really fast and flexible mixing of your game. So to show that, we'll right click on master here. We're going to create another bus, and we're going to call this one the SFX bus. So with two buses created, I want to create an audio cue, which is the actual unit of playable audio in Sector Audio. So there's a lot of ways to do that. I could right click here and say, create new cue, uh, but there's an easier way. I'm actually going to go find an audio clip that I like, like perhaps those bird chirps we were looking at before. And I'm going to just grab one, drag it, and drop it onto the bus where I want that new cue. And you can see it automatically creates a cue for me and is ready to go. Now, a cue, now that a cue is selected, you can see lots of different properties here. A cue can do a lot of things. They're all documented. We'll talk about some of them in more advanced videos. But if you're ever curious, all you need to do is mouse over anything and it has a tooltip that tells you exactly what that property does. Now, one of the really important things about audio cues is that they're not the same as an audio clip. They can actually contain multiple audio clips and randomize or loop or select between them however you like. So to show that off, I'm going to add some additional bird chirps on top of this basic chirp that we have already. So how about bird chirps three and four? Here too, I can audition them, hear how those different ones sound. But I can also audition the cue as a whole, which is going to randomly select just like it will in the game. So you can hear it randomly picking. I can change different modes down here. And that's all great. I think we have a cue that's ready to go. Now, before we actually do playback in game, we need to do one more setup bit. We're going to go back to our core player that has the audio listener, or sorry, the audio system on it. And you see it has this master bus slot that's not hooked up. We need to tell Unity which master, which bus asset is going to be the root of our mix chain. It can be the same for all of your scenes. It can be different. It's really up to you. In this case, we're just going to grab our master, drag it, drop it over. And now this audio system is set up not just for editor playback, but in game playback as well. So, with that set up, now we need to create a 3D source in our scene that's actually going to play back the audio. The easiest way to do that is to go to, back to Game Object, Create Other, Sector, Audio, and Point Source. Now, there's actually a lot more than just basic point sources in Sector Audio. If you're interested, I highly recommend you play around with some of the other volumetric ones like Spline or Region, or even Advanced Environmental Propagation, which you can see in the Propagation Source. There's a lot of tools here that you can use to create really rich, sophisticated soundscapes, unlike any other audio framework you might be familiar with. 
So this, for the quick start though, we'll just choose a point source, which Unity then creates for us in our scene. And if we look at our inspector, you'll see that the point source has a point source component on it. It needs a queue though. Unfortunately, we have one in our bird chirp, so I'll choose that, drag and drop it over. And now this is ready to go. In fact, as soon as I drop that into the scene, you can see that it created 3D handles for me, which are actually the min and max radius. And if I adjust those here in the scene, uh, the min and max distance of this queue, you can actually see it's updated here in the sector audio window. So with that, I think we're ready to play the scene. I'll close the window, hit the play button here, and we should hear some birds chirping. There you go. For those of you who are playing in stereo, you can tell it's actually uh, spatialized properly, The three and even surround sound works. So it's pretty cool you hear the distance attenuation. And that's it for creating and playing back sounds in sector audio. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.